Mongoose Jake here with episode number five of my Cheat Blaster Showcase. This is, of course, where I find very inexpensive blaster and blaster related items. And let's open it up and see what it can do. So, Charu actually has this little slingshot. Now, everybody knows I love the Busby slingshot. The thing actually shoots well. It's, I, I get actually full range claim out of it. They say 100 feet and I've, I've hit it. This, I highly doubt it. What it is, is it's basically one of those, uh, it's one of those little, <sighs> it's a slingshot. I was going to say it's the Pooflinger, except instead of having full gummy uh, projectiles, it has gummy arms with a foam ball. And that is foam. That is not plastic. That is a foam. So you hook it in just exactly like the little Pooflinger that I showed in one of the previous episodes and you hook his arms in and despite what you think you don't pull it the way that you think it wouldn't be flinging it out that way now you actually his hands face forward and then boom I don't suspect it's gonna do much other than it'd be fun to have around in a uh, in a living room just shooting back and forth at each other. But it's Jaru. It's got a crazy face on it. And these are a dollar at your local Dollar General. L at least that's where I've been seeing him. I got this little guy for a dollar. And, I mean, yeah. You just stick his little arms in the uh, slingshot fork. Pull back. And boom. Now, it hit the darts. <laughs> These came from Dollar Tree. It says Battle Royale. Ammo Reload. It's 18 darts. It says compatible with other major brands. 100% are FVJs. They are, I mean, I can feel it through the package, but it's a buck. And they have two packages available. It said Battle Royale or Foam Dart Blaster. I mean, this is a French translation. It says Foam Dart Blaster. There's no dart blaster here. It's just the darts. Now, there is one difference. When I see these, it, the uh, I mean, they're still kind of an FBJ, but they actually have a little give. This package only has 16 darts, and it has no give. I mean, those things are rock hard. Got it basically just to get it, but it's those are rock hard. And they don't have a vent on them. These do have a vent. I'm going to try to come in closer here. Yes, okay. Camera is able to catch that. These do have the vent and they have a little a little bit of squish. Now both of these were both these packages regardless of type, I did find those at a local Dollar Tree. Now, back to Jaru before getting too distracted. Air foam bow shot. Okay. Promising. It's already the arrow's already bent in the package. Now, this was $2.50 at Local Roses, which is a variety of wholesalers. They might, the store might be named differently in your area, but it's Roses in my area. And it's basically cheap stuff overall. Good buys on some name brand stuff, but mostly cheap stuff. Oh. So, we have bow arms it says to assemble bow rotate arms up to the horizontal position and secure by pushing up the sliding tabs on either side of the body okay so bow arms up and then it says secure by pushing okay i am doing exactly as it says okay pull down make sure they're all the way pulled down now i'm supposed to be able to slide that up and secure Okay, I guess that's as secure as it's gonna get. They still wiggle a bunch. Okay, it comes with three of the arrows. And unfortunately for this guy, he's already had a hard life in the package on his way from China. Uh, that one's about to lose a fin. Bummer. So we will try this one. As you can see, it is a nozzle style uh, fitting. You have to place it over the uh, 
dart. I mean, it is a dart. It's an arrow shaped dart, but it's a dart. Pull back and let me stay in frame here and release. Not bad, actually. I mean, I have an idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see something. Okay. Nerf Elite. No. Okay. Will not fit. Um, let's see. X-Shot tends to have a very large opening. Okay. It's on over. It's not having a good day, but it fires it. Hmm. Would actually be definitely a uh, beret special. I mean, it, it does the arrows just fine. I'd say you'd have to probably do something like an old school type uh, mod. Like, add a little extra foam. Or, put a genuine Nerf Elite dart tip on this. I mean, there's a lot of extra foam here. Put an actual dart tip on the front of these. Like, uh, as you can picture. I mean, heck, we all have probably thousands upon thousands of these AccuStrike copies. Take one of these off and poke a hole there and hot glue the tip of one of these onto here and that would probably help give it some accuracy. I mean, it, it performs well enough that you could manage to get a tag with it. And it does have this little clip here. So we'll throw the clip in which can hold the mangled one for now. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. And I, I mean I paid $250 for it. Yeah, two fifty at, at my local roses, and that's a Jaru Air Foam Bow Shot. Kind of neat. But I, I will give it that. It, it's in the kind of neat category, whereas this little guy is called the Jaru Silly Shots. That guy is just in the fun, funny category. So moving on, we got a couple of little squeezable animal shooters, and I picked up this one, as you can see for two dollars and it's a little alligator or crocodile and just shoots foam balls I know for a fact that they're an odd size here was another uh, foam ball but I think they may match up they're an odd size compared to like rival or something as you can see they're much bigger uh, here's a new package of rival much bigger than rival but uh, they probably match up to your typical ball shooter. I'm trying to think of the, the name of that brand. Uh, oh, well, the one that makes all the stuff. My wife and girls have uh, unicorns and a narwhal, I think. But this one is from Dollar General. And it was just in their little cheap toy section. That one, I will... I will yeah, I'll get it out. I was going to keep it in the package. But... We'll get this thing out. He's kind of neat. This one, this one's for me because I didn't get one of the the uh, other ones when I bought the name brand ones at, at a Target. Bought it for my wife and girls, but they didn't have anything I liked. But, well, crocodile guy, he's pretty good. Oh wow! It's not very, it's not very squeezable. I mean, that's hard to that's that's hard to put into terms for you to see, but. He's very stiff, very firm. <laughs> oh, that's that's not going to come across too well, the phrasing. But no, it's like he's not rubbery. This thing, it's not going to squish real well. So there's not going to be much performance to be had there. Like even compared to other foam ball shooters. Ah, that, that one was okay though. Let's try again. I'm just shooting across my workbench and it's already falling about three feet so I mean, if you really try for it you might be able to get get this guy to shoot across your living room floor let's move on to the other one this one is a dart shooter I don't see a whole lot of them that are the squeezable animals that shoot darts I picked this up for a dollar fifty nine at a local discount store so we will check this out see he this guy's squishy for comparison purposes like this little guy Easy to squish. Almost like, I almost expect it to be a squeaker toy. 
things. That this one feels like it's supposed to be just a plastic, you know, kid's play toy. That, that's the difference there. I mean, I can crush him, but he, he doesn't have very much resiliency. Yeah, it's, it's two dollars. Now, the dart one, again, it's a little alligator or crocodile. Very happy looking one. But it's got its own special darts. And, wow, they, that's all, that's all they go in. Right there. That's as far as it goes. About a half inch. And, quite nice. Hey, okay, uh, this is going to be silly. It's going to be silly. But, we are going to actually chronograph this little guy. We'll put two or three shots. And, that was a 29.2, but I hit my chrono. So let's set up, do my normal little thing. Set up the box, hold it up, and, and I hit it even worse. 29.2 in the first shot. Didn't read. <laughs> Wait, or it read, but there's no way that's right. Just like 143.8. There's no way that's right. So bear with me. And I will get one through. 24.4. Okay, so 29.2, 24.4. Nope. Misfire. Ah. Aim, Jake. Aim. Didn't read. Hit the chrono. Of course, accuracy is an issue with these little guys. 91.9 <laughs> I don't believe it but well I could I at least know I could hit a chronograph very reliably well I mean if this one shoots in the 20s I mean it's solid enough I, I don't know if maybe it's the darts 68.4 very inconsistent reading Keep trying. 26.7. Okay. It's 25 to 30 feet per second on this little guy. With maybe a lucky shot here or there going higher. So, big question. I know you're looking at it. Will it take a standard dart? No, it will not. Standard dart, at least without doing something here. I mean, spare piece of brass. Come to my rescue here. Okay, you, you could put an adapter and maybe put a little barrel on it. Could. Or just use what it's got and go around and see if you can get somebody. I have a feeling that the 68 was actually a valid reading. Because when I don't care about trying to aim it's shooting much harder when I'm not worried about trying to aim real precise. So, you never know. That might have actually been a valid number. Okay, and the one that's going to be most likely along the terms of what we are used to. This was $1.99 also in my trip to the Roses where I got the, the bow shot. Is this little thing. You're thinking jolt immediately. But there is no pull on the bottom. This is actually, it's called a competition soft gun, a playful game with internal spring action. Again, it's telling you internal spring action and despite it says three times mega, they're regular darts. I love the packaging. It's a competition soft gun, playful game, internal spring action. It has a sight head, it's loaded. I'm not making this stuff up. Gun point, trigger the butt. This is a Safe, exciting, long-ranged soft shotgun. It says soft dart. Load a soft bomb on the muzzle. Yeah, I can't make this up. Load a soft bomb on the muzzle. Pull back. Let's get this to zoom in here. Launch. Pull back. Buckle board machine. Launch. Yeah. Hey, it's two dollars. Oh, and. You also get, it's a space gun. 
Come on, let's. Get, there we go. Okay, I'm starting to wash out. I have my my uh, workbench lights are so bright they start to wash out here. Long range efforts. That's promising. <laughs> okay, it comes with three of its own darts. Let's dig into the treasure trove here and let's find out how awesome the long range efforts of this thing are. Okay, well straight out of the package, it's, the dart has a tear. Let's go to a different one. Surprisingly, it actually has a, a fairly good barrel fit. Okay. Crocodile outperforms it. Absolutely by far. The only thing here going for is that we have ammo load on top. And, well that wasn't a dark tear, that was actually just a ton of leftover glue. 15.4! Blistering. Dart Zone Pro, watch out. 15.9! Hey, we have consistency. And... Oh, you just had to destroy the consistency. Six and a half feet per second. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Okay. Going way, way back. Did anybody put two plastic uh, straws in their darts to help give some rigidity? There are plastic... I was going to see if it could be pulled out, but no, that's a negatory. There are plastic straws down in... Let's turn off one of my lights. Okay. Yeah, there are plastic straws down inside these darts. So, light back on. Let's find a name brand dart. Try Busby Long Distance. And let's see if... Well, yeah, 28.9. So, let's fire it again. 29 and a half. Okay, th that's... That's actually okay by me. 32 and a half. So, I mean, <laughs> this all of a sudden just became a viable, silly, you know, single shot, last dish kind of gun that you can use if you want to, I'm saying, here I am saying gun, because it says soft gun here. If you just wanted a little blaster to pocket as just something different other than the jolts that are out there, I mean, it shoots 30. Okay, well, we have our space gun, <laughs> and I am saying that because it says it on it, space gun. We have at least a few here that are silly fun things that you could just play around the house with, you know, with family, friends. Like, the bow shot is actually kind of neat. You know, it actually does work with its included ammo, and... I mean, if you really wanted to, you could do something to make it fire regular ammo. And it's just a pull and release. So you could even up the spring in this. You know, if you wanted to. Because all it would take is for you to put some sort of an adapter here and put a different nozzle. Or get rid of that and then put a actual barrel to feed darts into. And you could actually take one of these just for the heck of it and make it usable. You know, and it's it wouldn't be that bad. So this actually could be used. Ja has got another one there that you could use. Just to be silly, you could run around, get a few, buy a few of these, carry one of the slingshot forks, and then have a number of these guys in a pouch. That would be hilarious. That's the kind of thing, you know, that would be fun to do. Uh, little crocodile guy, he's just, they made him almost of plastic instead of a rubberized. I mean, really shove that in there and then two-hand it. This guy actually is usable. I, I don't know the, the uh, brand on that thing. Is it That one is called uh, 
It's made by Ankyo Development. Ankyo. If anybody wants to try to track that thing down, it's Ankyo. A N K Y O. And it's called Animal Dart Shooter. This one actually turned out that as long as you don't use the darts it comes with, which have plastic tubes down in there, it's much heavier than straw material, and it's an FVJ style tip, and the, t the plastic tube is apparently glued around the dart tip's peg. As long as you don't use those darts, use actual regular darts, this little thing is mildly usable and it is it says by variety wholesalers which is out of uh, Henderson North Carolina it's known as roses in my area but that one it's actually kind of neat it's a top prime jolt copy and instead of being a jolt grip pull it has a top prime and whiskers is making whiskers the shop cat is making his presence known but Hope you guys like this. This is a neat little collection here. We got uh, foam ball shooters. We got dart shooters. We've got again a ball flinger. We've got an arrow shooter, and a more traditional blaster, along with some dirt cheap darts that you could get as a gag. I mean, somebody out there could actually use these, and they would be fine to use in something like this because this isn't going to shoot hard enough to make FVJs become a problem. And if you do get the if you do go there to Dollar Tree and find the darts, if you find the one that says Battle Royale, these actually have the vented tips and they are soft. I mean, I'm not going to open it. There's no point, but these actually are softer. I mean, I can squish that in the package. These that say foam dart blaster, those are rock hard FVJs. So, these over these. These over these. <laughs> Only a dollar a pack, though. So, and you get 18 in, in that. That's not, actually not a horrible buy for somebody who doesn't really care about premium ammo. So, I guess I actually turned out to like the little space gun. <laughs> Smoker Shake saying, I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching.